Hello, my name is Maggie Mag, and I'm going to teach you how to spice up your Taco Tuesdays. Uh, for one, these are called flautas, so they're basically like crunchy tacos, but different. Uh, for one, you're going to start boiling some potatoes with uh, salt and butter, and put that in a large mixing bowl. Uh, very important here. So in your large mixing bowl, you're going to want to start getting your seasonings together. Uh, first thing we use is garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, um, things like that. It depends on, honestly, what flavor profile you want to build. Um, but here you see me starting to add these things. Um, instead of using just regular salt, I did use garlic salt, and that did build, again, on that garlic flavor. So for these flautas, I am just building on this seasoning here. For the cheese, if you want that authentic Mexican flavor, you can add cotija cheese. That's usually what you can find at your local grocery store. Um, but here I am just using a basic Mexican blend of cheeses that you can find pre-made at a grocery store. Um, just because I didn't have any of the regular cheese on hand. A couple of tips I have for you is if you like them already spicy, you can add your salsa sauce to this blend before you start frying that will build on the spices um, you can also add some diced jalapenos into the into the potato mix to start uh, getting it spicy um, honestly some people saute some vegetables in the uh, potatoes to spice up that flavor and also to sneak to their kids some vegetables so that's another tip for you um, here I'm just adding the seasoning to the mix of the potatoes uh, the cheese the parmesan cheese Cotija cheese, Mexican cheese. I mean, there's a lot of cheeses in here. You can switch them out for vegan cheeses as well if you are on the vegan or uh, plant-based side. Um, but then I take a potato masher and I'm starting to mash it. What you're looking for here is a smooth consistency, but I do like it a bit chunkier. So that's why you see me just um, trying to get it not smooth, but getting those chunks in first. I am so sorry for my son. Excuse him. He's rude. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing that. And then next you'll see me take that wooden spoon there. Now for the consistency of the potato mix, what you want is something that's dough-like, like dough-like dough bread. Uh, the reason why is because when you stuff it into the taco, you don't want it to roll out while you're frying it. So you want it something thicker and something that holds together really well. Also, in order for you to prep your tortillas, you need to microwave them a little bit so that they come out soft and they don't start ripping when you start folding them. Uh, so here you see me putting on some gloves to start stuffing the taco itself. There are some very talented people that can roll and fry these tacos without toothpicks and they still maintain their shape. I cannot do that. But here you see me just adding the stuffing to the taco and you see how you can just roll it into uh, shape, the dough, and it literally just stays there. That's the consistency you're looking for because when you fry them, you don't want any of the stuffing to come out. Also, you want the stuffing to go from tip to tip. And then you go ahead and add your toothpick to hold its shape. So I will just show you one or two more times. I forget how I recorded it, but you can also stuff these uh, flautas as thick as you want them or as thin as you want them. I like mine's a little fat, so I do uh, typically roll them a bit thicker. Uh, but the thicker you roll them, the longer they take to cook. And the thinner you roll them, the shorter amount it takes. Honestly, you can prep these ahead of time. Put them in the freezer and then fry them when you're ready. Uh, this is a great meal, meal prep idea, sorry. And then once you roll about maybe 15 of them, you can start getting your oil going. And um, you can put the tip in of the flauta to see if the oil is hot and ready. And then if it starts bubbling, then it's ready to go. Uh, so this is me putting the tip in and you see the end of it just starting to fry up a bit so that you could just lay it away from you. Thank you Gordon Ramsay for that tip. And you can just start frying them. This part is in real time and honestly it takes about four to five minutes to fry them. And then depending on how big your pot is, honestly you can do about maybe eight of them at a time. Um, in my pot I was able to get at most five in there and then it's honestly not even that long. Sorry about that. You know, my mom was always yelling. Uh, but as far as flautas go, you can put anything in here. You can put cheese in here. You can put sauteed vegetables, beef, carnitas. Uh, you can do like, um, like a shrimp stir fry. That sounds good. Uh, flautas are really versatile. So whatever you want to put in there or anything you have on hand, you can definitely do. 
Uh, again, I am frying this in real time so you can see that it only takes about two to three minutes per side and you're honestly done. Uh, this is me checking on it right here to see the bottom. All you're looking for is for it to start turning brown. Once it starts turning brown, basically you can flip to the other side and it will be done. Um, at this point, it was popping a little too much for me, so I added a uh, frying pan lid on there. Um, but I will check back in with you guys when I'm ready to take them out. And we're back. So what you can see here is, is, is I'm looking at the bottom of the tortilla. And you can see that it's nice, crispy, golden brown. And the top of the tortilla still needs to be fried. So I'm going to flip that over. And again, this only took about two to three minutes on each side. And now I'm going to go ahead and speed up the clip so you can see the rest of it. And to take them out, all you need is a bowl that is lined with paper towels. Go ahead and use your tongs and just take out those um, flautas and put them on the side. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is start chopping up your lettuce, your limes. Uh, some people put cilantro and onions on them. I honestly don't. Uh, what I do is I put just lettuce or cabbage. Uh, some sour cream, some hot sauce, and some uh, feta cheese sprinkled on top with some avocados, and you are done. Thank you so much for watching. Like and follow for more content. Bye!